Holy mackerel, I've got doubles. I got one on that rod, one on this rod. Ambush fishing for redfish. What is it and why do I do it? Stay tuned. Ambush fishing. When I look around, and let me show you. So you can see, as I paddle out from the shallow area here, there's really just nothing that's distinctive, especially right now at high tide. That's why I resort to ambush fishing. I know a lot of guys uh, will move up and down the shorelines, you know, work in soft plastics or hard baits, but where I fish, it's pretty shallow. So hard baits are just gonna hang up on the bottom on the oysters. So I've got to resort to ambush fishing. And it's all a matter of catching a fish in one spot, noting the tide bevel, and then being back at that spot at the same tide bevel. Because that's when the fish are transiting up and down the uh, grass line in conjunction with the rising or falling tide. So let's see if I can be successful. Got a little bit chilly out here. It's the day before Halloween, and uh, there's some guys sitting in the spot I wanted to fish in, so I'm trying out a new spot. Now, we've discovered that a lot of these coves that come in, and I'll show you this on the satellite, the redfish tend to stay back in the base of the cove, as well as the point. So, I've set up an ambush spot right here. I've got baits out in three places, and hopefully we'll see some redfish coming by and maybe I'll get some. Since there's not much bait around, basically I'm using dead bait right now. I did catch a couple live guys with my cast net a little bit earlier, but I'm gonna save those when I know I'm in the right spot. Now there are two ways I can use dead bait. One, you can cut them into chunks like that, or you can cut them into strips. So here's a strip, and you can see that that's going to throw a lot of scent into the water. So once the crabs eat what I've got on there now, I'm going to switch to a strip and see what happens. You know, as I've mentioned in a different video, you need to have one of these dollar store cutting boards to do all your cutting on. You don't want to cut, you know, a sharp knife into the side of your kayak. Why create some scrapes in it that are unnecessary? dollar store is a solution. And look at these great strips. Now one thing you got to do when you're ambush fishing is you got to watch the tips of your rods. If you start seeing them go tick 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 that means a crab's on your bait. You may as well pull it in. Yep, fishing teaches you patience. I think maybe that hit I had was a crab grabbing the bait and moving aggressively with it. Sometimes that happens, and that can fake you out. But I'm going to give it five minutes, and then I'm going to move. I've been here a while in this new spot, and that is the question. How long do you give a spot before you move on? Because you know everything is dependent on the movement of the tide. So maybe at this tide level, which is 4.5, the fish aren't here, and I need to move someplace else. So my rule of thumb is I'll give a spot 20 minutes, and then I'll move on to another another place, or I'll wait until all the bait is consumed by the crabs and then move on, uh, if that's around 20 minutes or maybe a little less. So I think I'm gonna move closer to the beach. Maybe that's where the reds are at this tide level. You know, sometimes when you're in the recon mode, it's good just to run right along the grass line and see if you can scare anybody up. Because if you get that big V pattern of a redfish, then you know they're there, you can mark the tide level, and you can use it in the future. So I'm just kind of running down the shoreline right now, en route to my next spot, to see if that can happen. Here's where I'm heading. Okay, I'm in a new spot here. It's kind of a tight cove with a couple creeks coming out of it. The tide is going out a little bit, so maybe somebody will come by here. We'll check it out. Well, it's warming up. Came out of that jacket. Tide's 2.9 right now. So I'm done with my fruitless skunk recon, and I'm going to head 
to a shoreline that I know is usually productive as the tide falls and the redfish head back out to the intercoastal. So, we'll see if I can catch a fish finally today. Well, there's some other guys that have been sitting in the spot that was good at high tide for me. They've been there for the last two hours. So, I'm just going to head to my good spot. Hey, you can see them right over there. It's what I call the choke point, and it's a great spot because everybody funnels into that narrow channel as the tide falls. Okay, coming up on the spot I call the hot corner. We'll go camp out here, see if we can catch some fish. Got fish number one. Check him out. A nice looking fish. Well, let me get to the other rod. I think that one's still on. So I already have the other one on my grips. I'm going to let this guy go. The great thing about circle hooks is they come off very easily. And he's gone. Whoa, that was exciting. Ambush fishing. That's how I go about getting redfish. 